Welcome to Wild Willy Productions. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, but you know, I figured my first video was doing was a collection of die cats that I found on a trip. Well, this is from two trips. I found all kinds of loot. But anyways, the primary reason for this video is I wanted to bring you an update on ACS Season 3 and ACS Season 4, or the complete lack of. I'm not going to do an ACS Season 4. Instead, I'm going to finish up the 1994 season. And maybe I have a different method because I figured there's no point in trying to get a bunch of new cars when the next gen car is coming. Theoretically, they might make new die casts designed as the next gen 3. I'm not sure. But I figured since 94 cars aren't going to change, I figured I could do that and do a 95 season with some new cars that I have picked up on and off. So anyways, we're going to start with some of the, uh, some not all of these are NASCAR, so I'm going to start with the IndyCar die cast I found at one of the lots. The first one I got was Alexander Rossi's number 27 Napa. Now, I've always wanted to maybe do an IndyCar stop motion, but I've only just started collecting indie cars. I've had three other ones. But I wanted to get the Napa one because, you know, Napa Auto Parts is my favorite driver's sponsor, so I figured it was only fitting to maybe get the Napa indie car. I also picked up Felix Rosenquist's number 10 indie car. Now, I don't really have a reason for this one, but I thought it was neat. And also, there were only five bucks, so I, I figured maybe it was a steal. I wasn't sure. Last one for any car would be Connor Daly's number 47 Air Force one. I liked it because, you know, it was red, reddish orange. Almost reminds me of a Ferrari. But yeah, I thought that was interesting. Now it's time for the 124s that I picked up. First one is a mint in box Carl Edwards number 99 Aflac. Now I'm pretty sure the car is in here, whether or not it's the right one. I don't know. I've been scanned before, but I figured this was interesting. Um, it cost me about forty dollars, but it was the first edition, I believe. I never really figured out what those numbers meant. But I still figure because I actually always sort of enjoyed Carl Edwards persona. And it was only forty dollars from two thousand and nine, so I figured it was worth the money. Um, yeah. So there's that. Now the only other mint in box one twenty four. So it looks like it was never tied on. I guess maybe the person when I found out it wasn't tied on, I was able to get him to lower the price by five dollars. But the car was never damaged, so that was good. Um, but yeah, I got Kevin Harvick's number 29, Good Wrench White. Um, I do not exactly know which year it would be. I assume that was from 2001 to 2003, I would guess. But it was a nice die cast. It was, I think it might have been one of the cheaper versions. I'm not sure, but it was a very nice piece. And I wanted to get it. The last 124, which is not mint in box, but I, I had to get it because it was in good enough condition. Got Junior Johnson's number 26 yellow banana. Ooh, ooh, this this one I got a steal for because well I found out that there was some damage underneath that the guy repaired. And so he lowered the price a little bit. I might try to maybe replace that exhaust with something, I don't know. But I figured that it was worth maybe thirty dollars. Since it was I believe the newer version. I think they made a new one this year. But yeah, I, I, I thought that was pretty interesting. And worth the money. Also, the suspension was a little bit loose. But yeah, it was a very nice piece. Now we're gonna go now if you remember the Morgan Shepherd number twenty one. A uh, sicko car from the last video I did. Well, I added three more 124s. I got a mint in box. Uh, 
Number 42. Uh, this is Cal Petty who drove this car. Uh, I thought it was nice. It was a nice car. Although... Okay then. Well, I guess it's out of the box now, but I might still keep this packaging. Oh, it looks like the guy tried to seal it. It's probably why he only had it for nine dollars. But um, I do. I thought it was, you know, I thought it was interesting because I actually kind of like the Mellow Yellow car. I thought it looked sexy. Sorry, but my language. I know YouTube's got got their things. Don't demonetize me. Anyways, I always kind of like the Mellow Yellow car. I know it's simple, but it looks nice. It might just be me. Now, the other two are the ones that I'm very excited, proud of. This is Dale Earnhardt's number three good wrench from, I believe, 1999. But it's from the 25th anniversary of RCR, I believe. Uh, looking on the back, yep, 1999, 25th year in NASCAR. It was a very nice piece that will never leave the package. And this is the last mint in box 143. Jeff Gordon's number 24. And this isn't a race win, but I love this. It looks so nice. I I love it. It is gorgeous, majestic. I love it. It looks so nice. It's in package and it will never leave the package. So I hope that maybe I can design something to be able to put on my wall to have these two cars displayed just like this. But that was cool. I only had three more left. And if you guys, I guess, tried, were trying to convince that they were mint in box. I knew from the get-go this wasn't mint in box. But I figured that the price they tried to put it at was worth it. They put it at $11. But it was Tony Stewart's number 14 Gen 5. Or Car of Tomorrow, I'm going to keep saying Gen 5, I don't know why. This is number 14, uh, I believe it's Old Spice. Um, yeah, so that was very interesting. I believe it's not open, but it, it must have been open at some point. It's probably glued on, so I'll figure out how to open that. And coming to the last two, these, these were, I feel like, the two most interesting. Because they were both from... 1994, but they were from back in the day. James Hilton, number 48, 50th anniversary. Um, I'm not sure what type of car this would be. Um, it may or may not check, but I'm hoping to keep it in the box because it has a nice gold card, and I do not want to rip it up. But I thought that was interesting. And then the other one is also on a gold card and it's instead of it James Hilton it is Fred Lorenzen's number 40 and excuse me number 28 I believe it's a different model and from a different year but they both were from one of 19,000 so I thought that that was awesome and I loved these two so yeah that's all the cars that I picked up of course of the last month when places began to start opening and so yeah I, I hope to be done with uh, ACS season three there's only two races left which w I had to I couldn't do Langhorn because the track that I had designed it on was on my mother's carpet and we had that changed so I'm gonna change it to Atlanta I think that could be a good fit I designed a track that looks very nice um, yes, it is the one old for Talladega, but I, I tried to fix it up a little bit. I think it'll look much better. So, yeah, and then it would be the annual, um, um, Arlington track where, you know, if you're new to the channel, I know I've gotten a few extra people who subscribed or asked, but I hope to be able to finalize putting the names of people who maybe you want to be honored on the uh, surface of the track. So, keep an eye out for that. You can leave a comment if there's someone you want to honor. It could be a pet or, you know, whoever. But, anyways, this is Wild Willie Productions signing off.